Welcome everyone, this right here is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, I don't really know how to prove it uh, is, in fact there's the box, so yeah that, that's good enough proof. And we, what you might not know is I actually shipped this device from South Korea. So you can see these are the apps it came with, also came with like a Korean keyboard, I, I removed that while trying to record this video earlier. But also this is the uh, manual for the, um, the device and... I know about you, but this is definitely not English. Now, what I do find interesting is on the side, those are English, but the actual, like, start guide isn't, which shows how useless they are. And so I would just like to explain in this video, you know, why why did I ship this device from South Korea? And I'll tell you the answer right now. The UK version is horrible. The UK version is horrible. So let me give you an example. In the US, you get... All the models you get the 128 256 512 gigabyte models right that sounds fine you also get the 5g the 4g and the um the uh, wi-fi model so that's perfectly fine however in the uk samsung i mean i know what they were thinking they uh maybe got a bit crazy and so this is what they did if you want to get but well, let's go through the only storage model available is the 128 gigabyte model. Now, I would have bought it, you know, because, you know, they have the uh, uh, SD card expansion. If there was one thing that they decide to do with that model, they only give six gigs of RAM. Now, this is a tablet, not a phone, right? This Galaxy Z Flip is a phone and it has eight gigs of RAM. This full, fully fledged tablet has eight gigs of RAM, right? Are you seen you seen the issues here and you, and the one before six gigs six gigs that's like literally nothing right you open up one game that uses like all the ram already then the multitasking doesn't even work so that's horrible right so that's off to a bad start but also if you want the 5g model well i mean 5g cellular you can only buy the tab s7 plus if you want the 4g model which i mean in the uk like 5g isn't really a thing it is but you know only in the major cities, you have to only get the Tab S7. So you can't get the S7 Plus, and yet the Tab S7 is like this big. No, thank you. So for me to get the model I want, which is 256 gigs, so I can get the 8 gigs of RAM, and the seller accidentally sent me a cellular model, but I just wanted Wi-Fi, right? I can't buy it from the UK. So, um, yeah, I had to ship from South Korea. I mean, I had two options. Either don't get the tablet, or um get get a horrible storage configuration or ship it from another country i chose a smart option which was ship from another country so yes i shipped it from south korea how much did it cost well let's actually um let's have a look so i actually think ebay isn't available on here no nope, it isn't available on here so let me just open it up with my z flip All right i just i just don't want to make sure i'm like leaking anything so if i go to purchases right here you can see 836 quid, which 863 quid even, plus a 31 shipping. So it was about 900 pounds. That is about the same as, you know, what I would pay normally for that uh, model. But the only real issue is I had to pay 200 pound import charges. Now, that that, that um, wasn't as bad as I thought because the seller, seller gave me the cellular model, which costs a lot more. I don't actually know if he gave me 4G or 5G because it's like literally impossible to check. I mean, I don't even have a 5G signal, so I will not be able to check. If it's a 5G model, then I mean, it really costs the same. Otherwise, you know, I've spent a bit more, but I've got the tablet I've wanted. And really, that's the important part at the end of the day. And so, yeah, that's, that's a, just a short video. Um, why I shipped my tablet from South Korea. Bye-bye.